hello guys here is shivli and you are welcome to my kitchen today i'm going to show you how to make veg chow mein i'm going to show you the way how we can get an indian twist in a chinese flavor it will be super delicious to enjoy so let's see the recipe first we have to boil some water and i'm adding 1 teaspoon full of salt in the water and now we have to let it boil here you can see friends that i have taken about 350 grams of noodles hakka noodles i have taken and i have broken them as you can see but you may take them as it is there is no problem and uh, here our water is boiling very nicely now we have to add the noodles into the water make sure that the water is boiling before adding noodles so now let's add the noodles into the water we have to stir a little after some time of adding the noodles into the water and we have to keep stirring occasionally and we don't have to cook them 100% actually we have to cook them up to 80% and now i'm showing you the texture i'm taking the noodles i'm pressing a noodle here you can see friends it's breaking if i press very hard it's being mashed but you can notice that there is something left to be cooked it means that our noodles are cooked 80% and it's perfect to drain the water so let's take a strainer to strain the water here i have taken a strainer and now we have to strain the noodles and instantly we have to add some cold water i mean actually normal water we have to rinse the noodles with normal water to stop the cooking process of the noodles so that they cannot be cooked more so i am doing this and you may add some cooking oil to them to prevent the stickiness of the noodles but i am going to cook them instantly so i am not doing that so let's keep them aside and go for the pan Here friends I have taken a pan and I'm adding some cooking oil. We have to keep the flame on high. Now we have to let the oil heat well and after that I'm adding half teaspoon of cumin seeds and half teaspoon of mustard seeds. They are fully optional for you but actually I'm going to add a desi twist in Chinese flavor so I'm adding them. One pinch of asafoetida as well for a desi twist and everything is fried well. Now we have to add the veggies. first i am taking some carrots some cabbage finely chopped of course and i have washed the cabbage very nicely after cutting some roughly chopped beans some finely chopped green chilies and i have some onion finely sliced but right now i am not adding them i'll add them later So now we have to fry the veggies for some time on high flame of course. Now we have to add some salt to taste. Stir very nicely on high flame. After the veggies are cooked 50%, we have to add the onion here. And you may notice that the veggies are half cooked now. Now I'm adding the onion. finely sliced and after adding onion we have to add the sauces here so i am adding 1 and 1/2 tablespoons of dark soy sauce and 1 tablespoon of red chili sauce you may add green chili sauce also and tomato ketchup as well but i am skipping the green chili sauce and i am not adding the tomato ketchup right now I'm going to add the tomato ketchup while serving and now I have added some red chili sauce. We have to mix everything very nicely. Now we have to cook the veggies 90% and after that we have to add the noodles. So the veggies are ready. Now we have to add the boiled noodles here. So I have added them. We have to stir and mix very nicely. Actually I'm going to break the noodles in pieces so that I can stir them easily. here i am going it's fully your opinion how you can stir them so it's easy for me 
I am doing this. Now we have to mix everything very nicely on high heat of course. You may add some vinegar to these noodles also but I am skipping it because I actually want a desi twist in Chinese flavor so I am skipping the vinegar. Now our noodles are ready. Now I am turning the heat off and serving the noodles. The recipe is so easy friends you may try it any time there is no hesitation. So try this simple recipe at home and do not forget to let me know about your experience. And if you like the video please do not forget to subscribe to my channel. Hope to meet you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching.